And the Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. Thank you, Mr. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. First, I'd, I'd like to congratulate my colleague on her first maiden speech. Thank you for bringing forward your values and passion and, and putting forward really strong principles for the people of Essex and Canada. Um, being from a riding, uh, like I articulated earlier, Parksville is, uh, has a median age of 58. I was door knocking at Parksville. I met seniors that had gone to the food bank for the first time in their lives. I landed on one door and a woman said that she had to make a choice between food or, or, or medicine. She couldn't afford to buy her own medicine. Mr. Speaker, I want to ask the Honourable Mention what she has uh, in terms of her talk about her proposal a little bit more around pharmacare and how we can make sure that this woman doesn't have to make that horrible choice. Honourable Member for Essex, a short response please. Uh, I thank my colleague on uh, this side of the House and I would like to say that I also experienced this at the doors. I heard people that were telling me they were making very difficult choices about whether or not they can afford the medication. And medication isn't simply about being able to afford the, the drugs that are, they are that are necessary. It's about a path forward to health for Canadians. If Canadians are healthy, we have a healthier society, more productive society, and we definitely stand behind having a pharmacare program in Canada.